I'm here with Ryan Serhant, a real estate broker at Nest Seekers in New York and the star of Million Dollar Listing New York. Awesome. Thank you for coming to Miami and Thank being on our panel. Yeah. So tell me, what are your views on the market in Miami? I love anything that's expanding, right? And I think that there is such opportunity in Miami for development, and that's what I like, right? I like, I'm a real estate broker, I wanna just sell as much as I possibly can. And I don't even think Miami has seen like an inch of what it can really be. It is growing so quickly. I think it's taken everyone a little bit by surprise. Even just the, the I think the airport is like the number two airport in the United States. That's totally, that's crazy. And I, I'm more interested to see what Miami is gonna look like five years from now. Just the change I think is a good thing and I think as it becomes a cultural center for the entire world, it's going to just get more and more and more valuable. So anyone who buys here now is getting a great deal, no matter what the price. What is your role here? Are you spending more time here? Are you making sales here? Uh, selling. So I have a team, we're based out of New York. We're a large team, there's about 30 of us. And I have a team here in Miami uh, which is smaller, about four people. Um, and we have some big listings that we are working on selling at Aria, at Muse, and at Echo Brickle. Uh, lots of penthouses and some smaller units as well. So we excel at selling penthouses and we excel at selling large apartments. So we are actively pushing those and selling those and doing deals all day, every day. And are the buyers mostly from New York? Uh, some are which is part of the reason that we made this partnership with these developers and the brokers down in Miami between New York, because there needs to be better synergy. Everyone can say, oh, Miami is the sixth borough of New York, but okay. unless there's a synergy there, and unless people are really working together all day, every day, there, is, there isn't gonna be any kind of communication. So uh, some of the buyers are from New York, but a lot of them are from everywhere. We just sold something at, uh, at Brickle Flatiron to a guy from Michigan. Like just you know, just just because. As and a second home or as a primary residence? No, a second home. But I think you know, I'm very very fortunate in the sense that I have uh, incredible exposure. So as a broker, I mean, one Instagram post goes to 353,000 people, and you know, if all of those people have a hundred friends, let's say, that's that's 35 million people that see. Let's see Crazy. that one post of that property, and it's it's uh, it's something that I couldn't pay for in terms of advertising, and so I want to milk it as much as I can, especially for my clients. Will we see you in any upcoming episode here in Miami, selling in Miami? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know if I'm allowed to give away secrets. Maybe, maybe. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, listen, we have an office in L.A., and last season you saw me jumping around Los Angeles and enjoying that market, uh, but Miami's so much closer. It's so easy. You know, you get on, you watch a movie, you land. It's nice. To go to L.A., you get on, you watch three movies, and you're like, are we there yet? It takes forever. Uh, but, yes, we're doing a lot with Miami this year, and uh, I think you just have to stay tuned. Good. We hope to see you here more often. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Thank you. Thank you.